Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest and today we are reviewing the Lenovo P780, the much awaited phone from the Lenovo smartphones and this phone is finally here with us. This phone is well known for its long battery life. In this video, I'm going to give you a comprehensive review including the gaming benchmarks performance, video quality, audio quality, build quality as well as battery life of the Lenovo P780 by Lenovo smartphones. Let's get started. Starting with one of the most important and most unique feature about the Lenovo P780 is its build quality. It is really built to last with a very solid finish and feels very sturdy in hand. It is kind of heavy and bulky. It is thicker than most of the smartphones that you see in this segment but it has a very large battery of around 4000 mAh which is twice the capacity of a normal standard smartphone battery. It is a dual sim phone. You get two sim card slots, a micro SD card slot, an 8 megapixel shooter at the back with LED flash and this is actually metal. The back cover which you get is actually made up of metal. It feels very solid and bulky in hand. It does not feel like it's a flimsy plastic. Back has these two high quality stripes on the top and the bottom. These are made up of high quality plastic which is high strength. This raised section above the speaker grill helps to unmuffle the speakers when you put it on the surface it does not tend to get muffled so there is still some sound the top section seems to be very nicely built with a 3.5 mm audio jack here a covered micro usb port on the top with a power or wake up key at the top here this is finished in metal on the right hand side you have the volume rocker these keys are also again finished in metal and there is a metal lining running all across there is a 5 inch high definition display at front with 720p display resolution which looks good and the colors come out to be really good it has nice viewing angles it has ips display as you can see the colors look very natural and very soothing to eyes it is not too bright neither too dull the colors are just right when it comes to the saturation levels. This is a front facing 1.3 megapixel camera on the Lenovo P780 just next to the speaker mesh and at the bottom you have three touch capacitive buttons which glow up when you touch them and they go off after some time of inactivity. There is a mic hole down here in the indent and at the back you have secondary mic hole for noise cancellation feature. Although the back is removable but the battery is concealed inside the phone and cannot be taken out. This is a large capacity 4000 mAh battery and this battery capacity is usually double that you get in normal smartphones which is why the battery life is also around double what you get on a normal smartphone with a 5 inch display. If I have to summarize the build quality and form factor of the Lenovo P780 in one word, I would say it is sturdy. It is very sturdy and very durable, built to last with good quality materials. Moving on to the display, which is the next thing, which is very important on a smartphone. This phone does not disappoint us at all. With a 320 pixel per inch density, 1280 by 720 pixel display resolution, it does impress us with the quality of display that it has. I'll play a few games and show you how it responds to touch and how it actually looks like when we are gaming. So let's first try the frontline commando and see how it performs here. The touch screen is fairly responsive and accurate. As you can see, there is no struggle or jerkiness when it comes to controlling the player. I can very easily point and shoot at my target. The colors are coming out to be rich and nice and the display is vibrant. As you can see from various angles, you can still see the display very clearly. Let me show you the demonstration of another game which is called Subway Surf which is not too heavy when it comes to computation but it does give you a good idea of how vibrant the colors are on a display. The speakers are fairly loud here. Let me turn down the volume a little. The graphics are rendering very smooth. There is no problem. And the touchscreen response is very smooth, I must say. The moves are very fast and precise. The display is also doing a good job here. After display and graphics, let's talk about the specifications and benchmarks of the Lenovo P780. As you can see on Antutu benchmark, we got a score of 13,696, which is not bad for a quad core phone. This one uses a MediaTek 1.2 GHz 6589 processor, which is a quad core CPU. It has 1 GB of RAM, 4 GB internal memory, which could have been more. This seems to be 
little inadequate considering the kind of apps that you want to install but there is an option to install apps on the external storage or you can actually add a large capacity micro SD card and install all your games and other applications there the GPU we have here is Parvia SGX 554 MP which does a good job let me show you the graphics benchmark on the Nina Mark 2 and see how it performs here and we get a score of 44 frames per second on the Nina Mark 2 which is not bad for a 720p display this phone is equipped well for moderate level of gaming but we could not play the Asphalt 8 very smoothly but games like Frontline Commando, Dead Trigger etc play very well on the Lenovo P780. The camera at the rear is a 13 megapixel unit and at the front is a 1.3 megapixel unit. Let me quickly give you a camera sample of the Lenovo P780. So I have an object right here. I'll just click a picture of it and show you how it comes out to be. It has touch to focus so I can touch on the area where I want to focus say here and I click the picture. There are many modes which are supported. In fact, I can do this close up in a macro mode. So I just switch to macro and try to focus again and click. Let me see the difference between the two. This is the last shot that we have taken in the macro mode and it has come out to be really clear and sharp. As you can see, you can still watch the numbers and it is not breaking. This is the small text written right here on this object and we move to the previous picture which also comes out to be fairly clean but the close up details are much better when we are in macro mode the pictures come out to be clear as well as sharp camera does not disappoint there is a front facing camera of 1.3 megapixel which is not very high in quality but is good enough for video conferencing and video calling there is one really cool accessory in the box of Lenovo P780 which is the USB OTG cable the software of the P780 is specially designed to make maximum use of this cable this cable not only reads external pen drives or external USB keyboard mouse but also connect to other phones and charge them let me just demonstrate the same to you. You can connect any standard USB to micro USB cable to the USB OTG cable with a Lenovo P780 and put the other end of the USB cable to any of the phone that you would like to charge. When I do that, my other phone starts charging as you can see and this is charging off the battery of the Lenovo P780. You can use Lenovo P780's huge 4000mAh battery to charge your other USB gadgets be it media players be it your other smartphone. Simply connect a USB drive to the OTG cable and you can access the files on the USB drive. Just go to the file browser and external storage is all accessible. You can access all the pictures as well as videos as well as movies or music folders that you have on the USB pen drive. You don't need to copy all the files to your phone to watch it. You can just read it off a USB drive very easily by provided USB OTG cable. If you want to use it for business purpose, you can do a lot more than just browsing on this phone. You can actually connect it to a full size keyboard and compose documents, emails, etc. By connecting it to a standard set of wireless keyboard and mouse using the same dongle. I have the mouse pointer on the phone as you can see. I'll just zoom in. And I can do typing using a standard size keyboard. You can do this with the mail clients, you can do this with the office suites, etc. Create documents on the go, create presentations etc easily with a full size keyboard and mouse on the Lenovo P780 without the need of a PC while you are on a commute. Talking about the audio quality of the Lenovo P780, the supplied in the ear earphones are very good quality and come with interchangeable cushions of different sizes. These also have an inline microphone so you can accept or reject the calls using the button here on the microphone. A standard 3.5mm audio jack which seems to be high quality gold plated with flat anti-tangle cables so you won't run into the troubles of cables getting tangled. Talking about the quality of earphones, the sound quality is good, clear and really loud in the music player but it is not very loud in the FM radio but the bass as well as overall sound quality is really good. Let me quickly give you a demo of the speakerphone quality by running a music track onto the speakerphone. The speakers are down here and they are fairly loud. If I cover it with my fingers, they get really muffled. But when I put it on the surface, they don't get muffled because they have certain raised section which 
prevents them from getting covered. The 720p high definition display is really good for consuming videos as well. The speakers are loud and the quality of video playback is good on the Lenovo P780. Right, and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can reset your Google Chrome and over here just keep. Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. Today I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Talking of the software and special features that you get on the Lenovo P780, it comes with special power management software which gives you the estimated time left. Right now we have 45% battery and it is showing us 18 hours of usage left. You can also set scheduled power on and power off of your phone to actually save more on battery. You can choose between preset profiles which are long, best battery, extreme long battery in which it turns off certain features like the Wi-Fi, GPS etc to save on the battery. So overall you get a large battery along with a very smart tool which actually optimizes on battery and shows you which part of software is using what amount of battery along with what hardware is using most of your battery like the display, wireless LAN, phone idle etc. It runs Android Jelly Bean 4.2 right out of the box so you don't need to worry about applications not running properly on this phone. There are few interesting and useful gesture features which have been loaded onto the Lenovo P780. First one is the pocket mode in which it actually increases the sound volume or the ringer volume when it senses that the phone is inside your pocket. Once you take it out and hold it in your hand it automatically reduces the ringer volume because now the phone is in your hand there is a smart roll smart answer feature. In smart answer feature it will automatically answer an incoming call when you put it next to your ear. The Smart roll allows you to quickly toggle the bottom roll and you can easily swap the feature. So if you are using your phone with your right hand and you want the phone icon to be on the right side, you can use it on this side. While you are using with the other hand, you can just roll it like this and use the phone here. Summarizing our review of the Lenovo P780, it does not disappoint us in any sense. The unique features like the extra long battery life, capability to charge other phones using the Lenovo P780 battery, ability to connect it to external keyboard mouse, a large battery with good power optimization softwares, a solid build quality, dual SIM capability, expandable memory, good camera, nicely loaded latest softwares along with a robust build which is built to last. The Lenovo P780 does definitely justify the cost. It is priced at around 18,000 rupees in India and is a very worthy if you are looking to buy a smartphone for professional usage. It feels very sturdy, very solid and very suitable for professional use. It gives you good display and good clarity along with a very large battery life, sharp pictures, occasional gaming, good sound quality. So overall it is a very nice package from Lenovo smartphones. This is all we have on a detailed review of the Lenovo P780 smartphone. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to press the like button below to give us a like and for more interesting and useful videos from Intellect Digest, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.